Hi, Randy here. So our topic today is one of the most overlooked things when it comes to lead acid batteries and that's care and maintenance. So what are some of the things that we can do to properly care and maintain our battery? So one, we want to check the terminals and connections are clean. We probably want to do this once a year, uh, more if you know we see corrosion building up. This can be done with a wire brush by uh, brushing the, any corrosion off the terminals, cleaning up the lead post, uh, custom wire brushes meant for battery terminals to clean the inside of the terminals. So it's important that we have a good connection in between the post and the cable lug to ensure that uh, the battery is going to deliver the proper amount of current required through the cable to the starter motor and likewise that we're going to get current back into the battery when the vehicle is running and the alternator is putting current into the battery. So important that those connections are clean and tight. So we want to neutralize any acid uh, that's around on the case, around the tray. Uh, we can actually get batteries that will self-discharge if there's, if there's a lot of moisture uh, on top of the battery. So we want to make sure that it's dry and clean. And we want to, we want to ensure that the uh, tray is not going to corrode away from any acid. So we can do that with baking soda or soda ash, a mixture of, you know, mix up a little paste with, with water and, and that's going to neutralize anything and clean up the metal and, and the connection. We want to check electrolyte levels. So it's important that the top of the plates in the battery are covered by, you know, half to three quarters of an inch of electrolyte. This could be more in bigger batteries such as golf cart batteries and bigger floor scrubber types. But in automotive starting types, typically half to three quarter of an electrolyte over the top of the plate. A common thing is for somebody to open the caps on the battery and see, oh gee, the levels are, are way down, I need to fill it right up. Well, you don't need to fill it up right to the top of the, the case or the bottom of the case if you're looking in, in the filler holes, um, just half to three quarter of an inch. Overfilling it is gonna cause electrolyte to pump out and then we've got a big mess and corrosion. It's important that we load test the battery. That should be done once a year as a preventative maintenance. So that's gonna determine how much power the battery has available and is gonna output. So as for the age of a battery, you know, in Canada and in northern parts of the US, is somewhere in the range of 55 months. So we know that if we've got a battery in our vehicle that's four or five years old, you know, it's really important that we start checking that regularly and it's important that we check it, you know, from the start to know how, it, how it's uh, doing so that it doesn't leave us stranded. So for more information on battery care and maintenance and all things battery, visit us at cdnrg.com.